Social media video captures the moment a missile strikes the Ukrainian city of Kharkiv. The local government there says several Russian missiles hit Kharkiv, injuring at least 40 people, including five children. Officials warn that number could climb. The news follows a busy weekend of cross-border attacks in which Russia says it intercepted and destroyed 158 drones launched from Ukraine. But some of the drone attacks appear to have caused damage, with Russian officials saying falling debris caused a fire at an oil refinery near Moscow. Damage was reported at a power station serving as one of the largest energy producers in central Russia. All this comes just days after U.S. Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin welcomed his Ukrainian counterpart to the Pentagon, pledging continued assistance. The United States will not waver in our support for a free, secure, and sovereign Ukraine. Alongside some 50 of our allies and partners, the United States will continue to provide the critical capabilities that you need to fight the Kremlin's aggression. European Union High Representative Joseph Borrell urged Ukraine's international backers to lift restrictions preventing use of their weapon systems on Russian soil. Meanwhile, the Russian Defense Ministry says it struck a Ukrainian weapons storage facility in the Sumy region. Ukrainian authorities there said overnight attacks killed two women and injured at least 11 people as first responders worked to extinguish fires in the area. That attack followed a major shakeup of Ukraine's military. I have decided to replace the commander of the Air Force of the Armed Forces of Ukraine. We must strengthen ourselves, take care of our people, take care of our personnel, take care of all the warriors. Glory to Ukraine. The high-level firing followed news of a fatal crash of an F-16 warplane during a Russian bombardment. Ukraine received the jet from its Western partners. With attacks from above and ever-present threat, Ukrainian women volunteered to shoot them down. The so-called witches of Buka aim to keep the skies clear from the types of attacks that filled this past weekend. Arash Arabasadi, VOA News.